Hey everyone, in this video, I am going to show you that how we can find cross-site scripting vulnerability using Burp Suit. So let's get started. Now suppose that we have a website something like this, let's say supreme.co.in, we have a website over here. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to find input points in this particular website. Okay, so as you can see, there is one input point which is clearly visible to us, it's, this is this uh, search functionality, right? So let's first of all see that if we supply an input over here, let's say I have typed Batman and let's click on go and let us see if the input is reflecting in the um, page or not. So as you can see, it is clearly not reflecting. So let me go to view source and let's find Batman over here. As you can see, Batman is not reflecting, but if you see in the URL, we have an extra parameter over here. question go equals to go, right? So what if I try to modify something like, if I modify go to something like Batman, hit enter. And let's see whether the input is reflecting in the source code or not. So I'm going to find Batman and perfect. As you can see, the Batman is reflecting in the web page, right? Which means that we were successfully able to identify the input point. Now we have to test this input point for vulnerabilities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just turn on my burp suit and over here I'm just going to intercept the request and let me refresh it. So as you can see we have captured the request and I'm just going to send this to repeater and let me maximize it. So as you can see this is the request body and let's click on send and this is the response and let's see batman over here so as we can see batman is reflecting in this double quotes so we have to supply double quote first and let's first of all see whether the uh, input is handling uh, dangerous character or not so let me type this greater than less than and let's see whether we were able to bypass okay as you can see the greater than less than symbol is reflecting as it is which means that there is no uh, input handling going on right so now we can craft our cross site scripting payload and let's see if we were able to uh, get cross site scripting or not so as you can see there is a double quote and less than symbol over here so i'm just going to copy this and i'm just going to paste it over here Perfect. And now after that, I'm going to type my cross site scripting payload. So the basic payload script alert hacked and script tag close. And let's see whether we were able to uh, find this vulnerability or not. So Batman. And as you can see, our script is successfully rendered in the response body, right? So I'm just going to uh, click on show response to browser copy this link and let me paste it over here perfect as you can see we were successfully able to find cross site scripting vulnerability in this particular web application right so the uh, flow is very simple you have to find an input point you have to test that input point for dangerous character and if the dangerous character is rendering as it is without any filtration without any proper handling then it is possible that we may get any we may get an XSS vulnerability. Uh, so I hope you understand that how we can identify cross site scripting vulnerability using Burp Suit. If you have any doubts, then do let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.